number 18 study of periodic orbits in the restricted three body problem with point gear surface so this is the third lecture in this series of the point gear surface sections because our we will utilize this study so today i will uh, remember we will remember professor bruke a great mathematician and a crystal mechanist professor roger bruke was born on March 25, 1932, in a farmhouse in Barnes, Belgium. He passed away on June 21, 2005, in Austin, Texas, at the age of 73. Early in his life as a farm boy, he acquired an interest in science and mathematics. A love he maintained throughout his life. At an early age, he was sent to a boarding school to study mathematics. He earned his B.S. Degree in mathematics at the University of Law in Belgium, and in 1955, and a master's degree in mathematics in 1957, where he studied under Professor Georges Lemaitre, the originator of the Big Bang theory, on the creation of the universe. In 1958, he entered the military service of the Belgian army, and was stationed in Germany. He continued his graduate studies at the University of Brussels and earned a second master's degree in operational research in 1960. He also worked as a research mathematician in Petrofina Oil Company in Brussels from 1959 to 61. He was fortunate to meet Ludgard van der Weyl, whom he married in 1960. Ludgard his devoted companion and friend shared with him a lifelong passion about learning which they passed on to their children Ludgard Brook contributed to the ground breaking pictures of periodic orbits in the three body problem which appeared in her husband's phd thesis which became one of the significant contributions of his career In 1962, Bruke received his PhD in mathematics from the University of Leuven, Leuven in Belgium. In 1963, he joined the Jet Propulsion Laboratory (JPL) in Pasadena, California, as a senior research engineer. For the next 13 years, he was an integral part of NASA's space flight program, a pinnacle historical moment at that stage of his. scientific career occurred on july 20 1969 when first man first walked on the moon during these years some of bukes happiest hours were spent teaching and mentoring graduate students at several universities while maintaining his position at jpl he was a lecturer at west coast university and the university of south California in addition he was an acting associate professor at the University of California at Los Angeles an adjunct professor and finally an associate professor at UCLA between 1969 and 74 his desire for more astronomy more autonomy in his research pursuits led him to accept a position as associate professor in the department of aerospace engineering and engineering mechanics at the university of texas at austin in 1975 where, where professor zabe was there he became a full professor in 1982 he became an internationally renowned scientist in the area of celestial mechanics satellite theory and particularly in computational mechanics related to orbital mechanics he was one of the first members of the texas institute of for computational mechanics officially founded at the university in 1976 and he began work on a number of projects involving the use of computers and computational mathematics to model nonlinear dynamics and to solve the governing equations of complex problems in celestial mechanics he was an active member of a group of colleagues 
involving in applied and computational mathematics research. Bruke made several fundamental contributions in celestial mechanics. First, he devoted a significant effort to the investigation of the general and restricted three body problems of celestial mechanics. He studied several different variants of the problem and he used different forms of mathematical technique called regularization to new classes of trajectories, especially the important group of periodic orbits. In his PhD dissertation in 1962, he made extensive numerical studies of the restricted three body problem corresponding to the earth moon ratio for two of the masses at a time when computers were just being introduced in celestial mechanics. In particular, through these studies, he presented a classification of the types of stability and instability of orbits, which had never appeared before. He proposed a principle about how certain orbits transform in the limit as the ratio of moon earth masses go to zero. This became known as Bruquet's principle in celestial mechanics and it was formally proved to be correct in 1981 by Lawrence Parco, another great mathematician. A second significant contribution of his work was algorithms for the manipulation of Poisson series which arise in the competition of orbits in celestial mechanics. More general mathematical manipulation systems like Mathematica, Reduce and Maple were already used in many fields. But these general systems are not useful for the Poisson series manipulations in celestial mechanics because intermediate results become too large. Ruke developed a set of algorithms which were widely distributed because of their machine independence and which had been a foundation in many problems in celestial mechanics. The third significant contribution of Bruquet's career is the discovery of a family of periodic orbits in the anisotropic Kepler problem in celestial mechanics. Formally, it had been thought that the system was completely chaotic. Bruquet's discovery contributed to a shift in thinking in nonlinear dynamics away from the view that dynamical systems are either integrable or chaotic. Bruquet's, Bruquet also made contributions in inverse problems in celestial mechanics, optimal computation of the solution of capital problem, studies in gravitational potentials of irregular bodies and perturbation theory. He applied his theoretical studies to problems such as the motion of comets and orbital maneuvers required by artificial satellites with emphasis on swing by maneuvers. Bruquet was a member of many national and international scientific societies. He was a member of the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, AIA, the Astronomical Society, the International Astronomical Union, the Society of Engineering Science, and the American Academy of Mechanics. He was vice president of the Division of Dynamical Astronomy of the American Astronomical Society between 1985 to 1986. He was promoted to the grade of Associate Fellow of AIA in 1969 and he received the NASA Apollo Achievement Award in 1973. Bruke was a member of the editorial board of Celestial Mechanics and a member of the Association for Computing Machinery and a member of the Division of Dynamical Astronomy of the American Astronomical Society. He was a member of the Celestial Mechanics Institute and he became the executive editor of Celestial Mechanics in 1973. Very early he became the executive editor of Celestial Mechanics. He published 100 scientific papers on applied mechanics, applied mathematics, celestial mechanics and orbital dynamics. He supervised over 25 students including 16 PhDs, PhD dissertations and 10 master theses. In 2002, he received the Dirk, Dirk Brower Award. You see that this is one of the best award in our area for his significant and numerous contributions to the theory of dynamical systems and space flight mechanics. 
Following his retirement, he became professor emeritus at the University of Texas at Austin. Ruke was also interested in foreign languages. He was fluent in Dutch, French, Spanish, and German. He belonged to Belgium, but then all these languages also he was fluent. He built one of the first personal computers, a MITS Altair 8800 in the early 70s. Among his other hobbies were oil painting, classic music, and interest in the human genome project. Bruke's daughter, Meryl Bruke, PhD, she is PhD in physics, uh, remembers his technical interest as being primarily focused on mathematical dynamics. For Bruke, mathematics was a sanctuary, sanctuary of order and beauty, unlike the human world with its contradictions and inexplicable sufferings. He had an uncluttered interpretation of scientific subjects, which was born out of a love of simple but decisive pictures. Indeed, much of his career was focused on producing decisive pictures to explain and expose phenomena in celestial mechanics. What was most inspiring about him were his essential rationality, his conviction that through disciplined reflection, the human mind can put an order into an seemingly unstructured reality. His humility and his delight in the unending novelty of scientific inquiry. Professor Bruke is remarkable as a kind and generous man with a good sense of humor and a fondness of his work and his students. Frequently, he and his family would hold dinners for his students, which often featured barbic and intense discussions of mathematics and celestial mechanics. Throughout his life, he held a fascination for the cosmos, motion of the stars, and heavenly bodies. His favorite book was The Little Prince by Antony de Saint Uxbury. It's a small book. I have read it. It's a wonderful small book. Wonderful book. It was gifted to me by Dr. V. Adimurthy. A wonderful book. All men have the stars, but they are not the same things for different people. For some who are travelers, the stars are guides. For others, they are no more than little lights in the sky. For others who are scholars, they are problems. You, you alone will have the stars as no one else has them. To Roger Bruke, the stars were beautiful problems whose luster and motion could scrum to mathematics and scientific understanding. This note was generated uh, and after uh, for him to give his uh, kind of dedication to him by Dr. William Powers, junior, he was the president, University of Texas at Austin, Sue Alexander Greener, secretary, the general faculty, this memorial resolution was prepared by a special committee consist of professors J. Tinsley Orden, Chair, Linda Hayes, and Oscar Umbro, and was originally published by the Office of the General Faculty and Faculty uh, Council. When I was looking, I just got it in from the, by chance, got it from the internet, and then I thought I must share this with you because such a great man. And I had a special remembrance with him because he has supplied me a lot of literature from him. And in 95, as I told once, that he wrote me a letter. He says, Dr. Sharma, you are, I understand you have done the your maximum uh, work in restricted theory body problem with oblateness. And I want to start a, a course on for postgraduate on restricted theory body problem with oblateness. So I would like to request you to send your uh, publications so that so i was so thrilled you know i showed that letter to uh, a lot a lot of my senior friends and then i sent whatever uh, by that time i had enough research papers on with oblateness so i sent all those papers to him and probably he might have started also a, a course on uh, restricted three body problem with oblateness at university of texas at austin this is one of the best university for aerospace engineering 
selected is these are only selected the uh, publications which i have taken from uh, the literature no, only few are uh, uh, been he has have 100 or he must be having more than 100 but 100 anyway cited there by by these uh, people who are written so uh, you can see there stability of periodic orbits in elliptic restricted three body problem he in 1969 he did and then a program system of analytical series expansion so these are all different kind of work in 69 itself he did programming system of analytical series expansion on a computer and brook and sofela this was a very uh, this is econoctical orbital elements they are very useful you know for orbit uh, orbit computations econoctical elements this is another wonderful work so many very uh, i have followed his lot of uh, research papers and i was in correspondence with him for a long time and dr bhatnagar had uh, personally known him for couple of months back when dr bhatnagar was, uh, was there for couple of months there at university of texas i think nearly 6 months he was there so their offices were adjacent so they, he became very good friend of dr bhatnagar uh, at university of texas so brook a solution mechanics of gravity assist this is another paper and brook a the solution of elliptic uh, rangers problem with the time as independent variable time as independent variable you see elliptic rangers problem with time as independent variable we are talking that a true anomaly is the eccentric is the independent variable but he is talking time as the independent variable the journal of guidance control this is also one of the best journals in us over for dynamics problems a lot of celestial mechanics papers do appear so these are all the things so he was a great man and he sent lot of literature and i will tell you two more things about his two journals and then you see this drug let us see what is this drug Brower Award was established to honor significant technical contributions to space flight mechanics and astrodynamics, and to, to recognize Dirk Brower's outstanding role in celestial mechanics and his widespread influence on workers in space flight and astrodynamics. He was a great man. Dirk Brower was an inspiring leader in the field of celestial mechanics during the period that saw a revival and flowering of the this discipline. from its purely academic and esoteric role to one of the widespread development and application in man's exploration of space he was successful as a researcher as a teacher and as an administrator he always strove to make the growth of his subject truly international the space flight mechanics committee selects the recipient of this award so the first award you know went to you can see the list goes from i have, i have collected all these so luckily i got, got got hold of this and uh, as you can see uh, uh, professor roger broke got into 2002 and you can see here uh, our dr uh, zave professor zave got in 81 and after that only for granard you know the hello orbits were where he studied the hello orbits at mit he got his doctorate and this he got in 1984 and after that is uh, deprit another great man got there zankes there all you see many people uh, alfred he has done lot of elliptic restricted three body 89 non linear stability etc he studied so so many people are are uh, have got they are all our top people taple took lot of time you know to get he was the chairman when zave was working there he was the chairman of the department and but uh, you see the zave got it in 81 itself so and bet in another great man who was uh, who has uh, contributed so much to the us program to the space program and then you can see and then i uh, uh, you see this kathal howell knows lot of work she has done she is wonderful lady wonderful so she got it in 2004 so i have given this full name and some of the people i chose I mean uh, i highlighted here arun mishra and uh, wadali and then modi professor modi was a great man he was a fluid mechanics as well as uh, we met him dr bhatnagar and uh, both of us we were there in 75 1975 there was a conference in indian institute of science about in orbital mechanics and professor modi came because professor modi was guide of professor shrivastav and professor shrivastav organized that conference in 1975 and then we had gone there 
so we met professor modi at that time during this period so you can see the list is and then this is robert melton for this is this is the latest for excellence in developing the first fully three dimensional three a time explicit representation of relative motion between spacecraft and elliptic three dimension you see the important is three dimensional time explicit representation of relative motion between spacecraft and on elliptic orbits see the, now the collision uh, to avoid collision of the spacecraft etc uh, is a very important problem and, and robert melton is a very nice person because he was associate editor for two of our papers which we published in journal of guidance control and dynamics very more positive man because of him only we were able to do it because he motivated us that you continue and the, the those things and then uh, help us to to revise our papers by which i when i i already i presented to you in earlier mm -hmm. they were also with the the fine case of of section with i uh, which we have uh, Mm, our puja adat and myself we did work so he was the one so i was also quite and you can see many people many people i don't know also but this is tears i know some some names i do not know kessler i know kessler is a space debris you know he is a uh, man so various names are there coffee uh, coffee has worked with deprit and they had uh, uh, worked on satellite uh, uh, theory and then worked very wonderfully Cephala has done a lot of work on the orbital dynamics. Yeah, I know him. He has also sent me a lot of literature to do this. So this is how about this Drick Brower Award because uh, we were telling who got this, but you see here the people who got must be a great man. I have uh, the Thorn the, and then Breakwell. Breakwell another great man. And Baker. Baker books are there. You know, he is great. Another great. So these are all some of the people. Then only a uh, main main mele mele book we used to study when we, when I was in doing my space dynamics uh, uh, subject in Delhi University. Uh, Dr. R S Verma used to who was the guide of Dr. K V Bhatnaga. He used to teach us rocketry. You know that mele's book was three chapters of mele book was there. So Angelo mele another optimization and rocketry lot of work. He, this this has done. That's why this uh, has gone. And then only Haggard, another person, great man. So Kane, another he has written a book, and uh, so you see, all people are with the, because a lot of significant things need needed before you. And Schroeds was also he was a we were knowing because he our original papers beginning papers when I was doing my PhD, Bob Schroeds actually he and Danby they used to 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 and I think Danby's name is not there. Danby didn't get. It. So you see, these are all I mean uh, the I'm not seeing his name. So they used to uh, evaluate. Yeah, they evaluated two or three of our papers. So that's so all. This is the thing. And the, you see here, this is the thing. What why I have included this is you see the acknowledgement. This is his report: periodic orbits restricted three-body problem with uh, Earth, uh, Moon. Masses. Similar thing is there on elliptic restricted three body also. This is on circular restricted. Acknowledgement you see. Special thanks are due to Dr. Uh, A. Deprit for his guidance in the elaboration of the author's doctoral dissertation at the University of Leuven, Leuven Belgium in February 1963 on the subject of periodic orbits in the Earth Moon system. Professor Deprit was chairman of author's dissertation committee, and it can truly be said that without his continuous and enthusiastic support, this work would would probably never have been terminated successfully. Several fruitful conversation with Professor uh, Deprit since 1963 on the subject of periodic orbits are also gratefully acknowledged. So he is giving so much, you know, acknowledgement to. Of writing this the, this report, a wonderful report. You know, this is report and soft copy is available. With it's a very people uh, uh, is there with me. It's available on internet and elliptic also is available. These are the soft copies are available. So they I think they they those who work in restrictions they should keep them because a lot of things you can learn through those this the, his reports also. How much he, work he has done. The author also wishes to Universe Brussels for allowing generous access to 
UCS 90 computer for many orbit competitions 61, 62. See, he went somewhere else, Brussels. He went to do uh, to draw his figures. You know, at that time, wonderful figures, and his wife actually who helped also in doing this. So that is the thing about Professor Brookett. Now we'll start the thing, our thing on the dico uh, di dichotomy in the Earth Moon system restricted three body problem. This Safia was very my student who got PhD with, in this area. Dr. Safia is there. Was, she says, Arde, we must publish a paper on this dichotomy because, because with a small change, you know, you are changing the character. So this work was published in astrophysics space size. The, the recitations become less, you know, when, once people, uh, every paper, you know, sometimes even if you are good papers, please, one more thing I should tell at this stage. Citation, if your good work does not get cited, doesn't mean that your work is not good. As I told you, my Royal Society papers are still not cited much. It doesn't mean that I don't think that I, I, that is not a good one. Otherwise, Royal Society would, I, I don't think I can publish today in Royal Society. I have done it uh, at that time, four papers, but now I, I, I tried later one or two papers, but they didn't pass through. Because uh, uh, you need an entire originality there. So that don't take it. If your papers are not getting cited, that doesn't mean that your work is inferior in any way. Because people are not able to understand sometimes your work, and they, they they are not. That's why. And some people are sometimes uh, intentionally people don't cite your paper. So uh, that is also another reason why uh, sometimes citations are less. So citation is not the 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 way uh, we can uh, we can evaluate our work. So in this you can see abstract. We apply numerical technique of pinecone surface section to investigate the dichotomy present in the Earth Moon system, consisting in the framework of planar circular restricted three body problem. A study on the transition of quasi periodic orbits, oscillatory type dichotomy present at the Jacobian constant 2.85 shows that the dichotomy uh, discussed here exists not at a particular value of mass ratio and the Jacobi constant. What she was trying to prove us that it is not just at that point. It is observed that C increases the range of mass ratio at which dichotomy pertains increases, even though the mass ratio at which the transition of orbit takes place decreases. So this was the thing. That's why it was without much F, uh, this thing. It was accepted in astrophysics space science. So this is the, uh, anyway, the, the winter, as I told you, we were following winter. Uh, winter has been the student of one of the top person. And you can see the book, you know, this is the book. Uh, are you able to see this book? Like this, you cannot see. I, I, I'll show the other way around. No, sir, not no. clearly. Uh, no, I, I will show you. Uh, 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 like this, I will show you. Now you may be able to see. Are you able to see this book? <coughs> yes, yes, sir. Solar yes, system sir. dynamics by C.D. Murray, maybe. Solar system dynamics. You have this book? Sir, uh, author is uh, C.D. Murray. Hmm. Yes, sir. No, do you have this book? Sir, yes, sir, uh, we have this book. Author is C.D. Murray. Uh, this is a very, very good book. <clears throat> Siri Murray and uh, Dormot. Uh, Dormot. Yes, yes, sir. We all have this book. Mm -hmm. This is a very good book, actually. Uh, actually uh, uh, for researchers, this book actually uh, is, is, a, is, a, is a good book where you will learn many things. So, uh, soft copy is also, I think, is available uh, in some form. It is there. But this is a this is a book which uh, one can you know some has, some areas one we can learn through this, especially when when we work with this Pinecone surface of sections, he has discussed many aspects here and many other fundamental things he has he has discussed. So this book I suggest the people who are, who want to follow these areas, they should uh, uh, get into in this book. Well, see. Uh, uh, my uh, every pe people, uh, everybody has a different way of learning. You know, my way of learning is if I have a book, I read and then read and then once in a while read. 
like that you know and every time maybe i i i get something new and understanding that is how i worked on ks transformation because ks transformation was a was a entirely a new new thing for us because we had neither it was taught nobody so only the book was there so it was like a eklavya kind of story that you you that book is there with you and with the, you learn with that and that only took me to the royal society four papers with the single author to royal society was a was a great achievement for me which many people even dr patagar said that is one you are very creditable thing and in my department also and probably i had two years of extension in my normal service was also probably maybe the royal society has given me because that has been thought by everybody to be and also there were single authors so that book only see book we whenever we do research book should be there with us one or two books you know we should uh, make uh, uh, as i told you earlier also i had uh, studied mostly three or four books only and not even completely zavez book was there one which we i started my phd then i uh, came to the this uh, stifel book linear and regular cellular mechanics which i purchased when i was a research uh, a scholar also so that book i that time itself i purchased but that time i didn't understand abcd of that but anyway that was purchased but i liked that book and then uh, then the book by king heli king heli book because we were we had to work on satellites uh, so we drag atmospheric drag that was another book so like that i have studied you know uh, uh, those few books uh, seriously and they had taken me up in uh, the research area so friends books are very important uh, because uh, from there you learn the base and then you through that you can get into the research papers and then you can go to various areas uh, where, wherever you want so then gradually you know and it is better you follow one one area or two areas when you go to more areas it becomes very difficult to to get into the depth of those areas and work and that's why bruke was uh, was happy and he otherwise said papa person of that report in 85 he was already a, a full professor and then he he is writing a letter to me i am preserving that letter it is there in trivandrum now i am going to uh, i would have shown you also that letter a beautiful letter he wrote to me and uh, other that itself is was a great certificate for me uh i don't need further certificates the person of bruke caliber writes so let us continue on this one so we did this uh, trichotomy uh, the or orbits and uh, mostly uh, safia was very keen that this the work should go trichotomy of the this thing he or she saw that and then uh, we these are the equations of motion you can see here so the why i write when this plus is there that means the the more massy primary is on to the left and if it is minus then the more massy primary is on the on the uh, the uh, right side this is the this is the uh, uh, the significance only and then the uh, the this dichotomy dichotomy are uh, uh, studied the the same point curve surface of section method this is there you know generating the those method the, those things were generated and we are following the see that winter uh, reference is coming and so we have considered three cases with jacobi constant 2.84 85 and 86 with mass ratio so this is the jacobi constant and ma mass ratio of you know earth lies in between this 0.012 something it comes in between so the, uh, so that was the thing she uh, there this is the, the zone she wanted to study so uh, now with that you can see here uh, when you see the figures this is the i'll show you the figure through figure you can know better now this is at c is equal to 2.4 with different mass ratios now you see here at c is equal to 2.4 the orbit at with mu is equal to this now mu is increasing 
C is kept same, 2.84, and mu is slightly goes on slightly increase, and this orbit has become smaller, and you see the point has become point further, and then the character will change. The dichotomy means the whole character will change. That's the that's the that's the meaning of this dichotomy. So that is how the this 2.84, and then you see 2.85 also. You see with the at the Jacobi constant 2.85. You you can see there starting with a small point, and then the, this orbit. You can see here these orbits, and you can see these orbits. Uh, here you go this way, and then you go this way. Two one, then two two, then two three two four. So you can you can see here the change with a small change how the orbits are going to be that how that character around that point is going to be changed. And these are also further continued. You see further when when the at two point eight five they are there it has become like this. They are becoming in this fashion. So pinecone surface section that way you know uh, it has helped to to learn many things which normally we would not have been able to find out. Eight six. With the different mass ratios, so this is this is how background with that she she was able to to say uh, from this she was able to say we have concluded a study uh, uh, on the study of dichotomy present in the Earth Moon system. We found that dichotomy discussed here exi exists not at a particular value of mass ratio at a Jacobi constant. So it is not a one one uh, uh, parameter. So the range values of mass ratio for which the dichotomy last is seen to be dependent on mass ratio and the Jacobi constant. So both are both can work, mass ratio and Jacobi constant. So you can play with both of them. Also, it is observed that C as C increases and the Jacobi constant increases. The range of mass ratio at which the dichotomy part, uh, pertains increases. This increases. The range increases. Even though the mass ratio at which the transition orbit takes place decreases. That decreases, but the, ma the range of the mass ratio uh, at which the dichotomy uh, pertains increases. So this is how the, this was the conclusion. Small paper, it was not a big paper. So the references are also not that many it was almost a small paper but it was it was it did not take much time for, for to get it accepted now next one is uh, the nishant my another graduate bright uh, uh, undergraduate student in final year they have to do project for five months they work and later on he worked i got a project from isro respond program so there also he worked because uh, they we need a gate uh, qualified uh, 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 student if we want a, to take for that project so he cleared the gate examination and then he he did for a few months he worked on that and then he did his M, M, ms from from chennai this famous institute um, mit and then now he is doing his uh, doctorate in japan in advanced areas of space orbital dynamics. So a few lectures he has attended here also, about beginning lectures. Now I think he is not able to attend, finding difficult maybe time. So this is this paper you see, progression of bifurcated family F type periodic orbits in the circular restricted three-body bomb. He, uh, when he was working on the project, he said, sir, I am finding two orbits. So I said, let it is good. So progression of F type, F type is around this small body, smaller body uh, you have. Uh, uh, retrograde, family of periodic orbits, uh, they, their nature is stability and location near the smaller body for different mass ratios in the framework of circular restricted three body is studied using Pankir surface of section. The orbits around the smaller primary are found to decrease in size with increase in Jacobi constants. So as Jacobi constancy is increasing, their size is decreasing and move very close towards the smaller primary. This was his observation. The orbit uh, uh, bifurcates into two orbits with the increase in C to 
when you increase jacobi constant more then this orbits uh, has two uh, orbits one is retrograde one is direct it bifurcates into two orbits two orbits that uh, appear for this value of c belong to two adjacent separate families one is direct we know we know that one is direct one is uh, retrograde so one is direct orbit belonging to family g the direct is called g and the retrograde is called f of periodic orbits and the other one has retrograde family the fam f of periodic orbit see bruker has discussed all these things you know in his those that, that whatever i showed you just now that uh, which is um, that is report nasa report in that he has discussed you know it's around 92 pages and here yeah, that's a, a very i we dis, whenever we uh, i do i try to discuss lot of periodic orbits he has lot of tables he has given those is getting tables figures i i it was a wonderful thing that's why he gave a special uh, thanks to to the people have given thanks to his wife because those orbits were so good uh, uh, look wise there you know in those time uh, i know my thesis was typed even in 77 on a typewriter and some of the figures we draw as with great difficulty and writing was with hand all mathematical expressions writing with hand and was the status in, in 87 the two orbits that appear for this value of c belong to two adjacent separate families one is direct and another is retrograde the bifurcation is interesting these orbits increase in size with increase in mass ratio the elliptic orbits found within the mass ratio uh, between 0 to mu to 0.1 yeah, less than 0.1 have eccentricity less than 0.2 and the orbits found above mass ratio greater than 0.1 are elliptic orbits with eccentricity above 0.2 deviations in the parameters eccentricity semi major axis and time periods of these orbits with the solar radiation pressure q are computed in the framework of photogravitational restricted theory so then he added the photogravitation uh, the, uh, uh, the the uh, the radiation pressure effect of the mohr massey primary in addition to the restricted theory model these parameters are found to decrease with increase in the solar radiation pressure all these parameters are decreasing with the increase in the radiation pressure which we saw in our later uh, earlier also we have seen this when we were studying this and then he has seen through this uh pancreas surface here also you have seen this so this is the introduction mare etc he he was very very he has been very good in writing introduction very intelligent boy and uh, and uh, most of the things you know he did himself and time was also not that much for him you can see that the number of references 30 you can see here and uh, so periodic or so he has i will not go in detail of this but i have just kept the entire thing so last the para we can see we present uh, the present work explores the location nature and size of the periodic orbits in the framework of restricted three body problem near smaller body primary in sun jupiter system using pss method whose mass ratio is 0.3095 But Jupiter is approximately one by one thousand of Sun's mass. So Sun is thousand times heavier than Jupiter. Further, the study has been carried out for different mass ratios for certain values of Jacobi constant c to study the location, nature, and size of these periodic orbits of family F bifurcated from G of periodic orbits in the restricted three body problem. He has given uh, suitable references also. Deviations in the parameter eccentricity, semi-major axis, and time period of these families of periodic orbits with the effect of radiation pressure are also computed. These parameters are found to decrease with increase in radiation pressure. So equations of motion again, you know, the, the uh, only thing we need to see is this R one and R two. So here again, we have taken. more massy primary on to the most of the people take this way only most more massy primary on to the left side
periodic orbits around Jupiter in Sun Jupiter system. So this is the thing, and this is the mass parameter mu. You can see mu here. This is for the this the for Sun Jupiter mu value for Sun Jupiter mass system. So this is almost you can say one by one thousand. This is because if you put one here, then it becomes of exactly there, but it's slightly less here because it's to be more exact. And for different values for C from three to four, Jacobi constant has gone up to four. And uh, same Dangaranga Gupta. See, I told you I we didn't do much research in the area of this because this my this program was I was using it earlier also, uh, which which our expert you know uh, people have given to me and those because in space center we have people with very good background of uh, computation, so they gave me this fourth order Dangaranga Gupta Gill method. And I had been using it, and it was doing. And so this way, anywhere we want to use a small algorithm, we can just push it there, and then we can work. And it has done a good job. Compare our results with some other results to see the accuracy of our results. So it was doing well. The periodic orbits around Jupiter located from PSS are shown in Figure One, One A to One B. It is found that the size of the periodic orbit around Jupiter decreases with increase in C. As shown in Figure Two, and move towards Jupiter and collide with it at c is equal to four. They collide also further. That means almost collision orbits further. With the increase in the value of c to two, four point two, this orbit bifurcates into. So you see, if somebody uh, still wants to do, one can see uh, that as c is increasing, you get a collision orbit, and further the you increase the value of c, that the orbit is bifurcating into two orbits. I think this will be interesting if somebody takes up such study by some any other method also, not only this, or this also one can use. This bifurcates into two orbits where the locations are also given here. Uh, uh, first one as retrograde and second as direct. That's why F and G names have come as shown in figures. This shows that a new family of periodic orbit bifurcates from the original one, which is contradictory to the properties of orbits. Direct periodic orbits. Uh, is written also which is contrary to the properties of orbits the direct periodic orbit belong to the g the g type family of orbits and the bifurcated retrograde uh, orbit belongs to the f type of periodic orbits that is zabe has also in zabe's book also it, it will be there 25 must be zabe book in the present dynamical system the km tori near the small primary is used to Measure the degree of stability of the periodic orbits around. Stability we use the same Venter's criteria around Jupiter with respect to region around it in the phase space. Figure four provides the location of the periodic orbits as a function of Jacobi constant. These uh, results are generated from the Poincaré surface of section, considering the size of the islands near Jupiter in the line of conjunction for each. Jacobi constant C. In Figure four, the straight line corresponds to the left more, less leftmost tip, and the dotted line corresponds to the rightmost tip of the island near the Jupiter. That's what you have to bifurcate. I mean, you have to show something uh, Jupiter in the PSS of the Sun Jupiter. As seen from the figure, the degree of stability of periodic orbits is seen to be maximum at around C is equal to three point zero degree. Means that is the maximum amplitude you may be able to see that. Now you can see various figures he has drawn, and uh, you can see here this this area. This area is going to be shifting now. Uh, uh, a, B, C. There the conditions will be wrote in the end because these are figures are too many in one. They can't be put put otherwise they look very small. So the orbits have been. This is now B will come. This has reduced to this level, and the the entire thing. Has changed. If everything we see together, we may see different uh, easily, but it is not possible. So this is it, the entire thing has changed. And here again, a lot of changes come, and this fellow has come. See, very small now here. And this has also changed. So now here it is written, figure one. Point K surface of section for Sun Jupiter system with various values of C with constant. So no radiation pressure is taken. Q is equal to one and periodic orbits around Jupiter. So C is three. So first one was C is equal to three. Second was C is equal to 
three. So there the 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 periodic orbit is at x is equal to nine six zero nine, and then this is you know sh shifting towards the Jupiter nine nine one one four. This is c is three point one, then c is three point five. This has further shifted, and four. See it has further gone to that side nine nine eight one. These are the things which uh, in which which uh, you were. Now you can see here in this figure variation of period is around Jupiter for different values of c at q is equal to one. So there is no uh, radiation pressure. Q is one, and you can see two point nine four 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 has gone you know very much deeper inside, and. This is the first 2.99, three, green is three, 3.1, red, and then this blue is 3.33, and then this is 3.4. So like that, you know, it, it, as C is increasing, Jacobi constant increasing, they are becoming, they are coming nearer to the Jupiter in the Sun Jupiter system. Also, one will tell you also, the one will tell you that you are around one this thing. These are the ones you can see here. And here it says uh, at C is equal to 4.2 and Q is equal to 1, blue represents a retrograde periodic orbits at this, and red represents a direct orbit. So he saw the two orbits here at C is equal to 4.2 and Q is equal to 1. It was not so easy to see, but anyway, he was a bright boy. He just went on doing things. And finally, found out that this is the thing happening. So C is equal to 4.2 and Q is equal to 1. Blue represents the retrograde periodic orbit at this one, and red represents direct orbit at this 9988 and 9983. So they are different, you know, locations are different. So red one is going little towards the right side. That is the, the FG or the direct orbit retrograded here. And here, width of the KM Tori and location of periodic orbits in the Sun Jupiter system. No one without uh, uh, perturbation. So, this is lower the tip and the higher tip, you know, that thing he has, he has put it here. And there he has told in the write up that where, where is the maximum amplitude is happening. And this is shown here because three, between 3 to 3.1, you can't see much, you know. So, this has been extended here to just show, show you. Show, show it easily to these things. So variation of bifurcated family of F type periodic orbits. Sir, from sir, the, ah. sir can you uh, little bit explain what is KAM Tori here? KAM is, you know, coast uh, that uh, Almogro, Arnold, Almogro, Arnold and uh, Moses theorem. Uh, but what is KM Tori? Uh, what is the calculation behind that? Calculation, maybe I I, I will have to. Uh, maybe sometime I will try to uh, make a small lecture on that. Okay. 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 Well, as at random, you know, I can't uh, give the give a good answer. Yes. 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 I like to uh, uh, make a, a study on that and then make a lecture and then maybe. Yes. maybe I can tell. Like it's an important area. I'll try. Sometimes these things also we will we will try to see. Especially I wanted to uh, give a. I mean, in one lecture, you know, various things are not possible. Yes. But yes, anyway, yes. I, I will try something on KM Tori. That curve shows the relation between C and X. So mm -hmm. that is why I asked because KM Tori has been represented in terms of C and X. Uh, yeah. yeah. Getting a curve. Yeah. Yes. Okay, sir. Yeah, but that's a that's that's a very fundamental, you know, because they that theorem has become a very very fundamental, and uh, we need to uh, that Arnold book, you know, Arnold book we used to take. See, now I I don't have an Arnold book, but anyway, somewhere mm -hmm. that that we can find out the so, some good good uh, uh, explanation for all those things. Okay, okay. Sir. Variation of bifurcated families of F type periodic orbits from G type periodic orbits for different values of mu. To study these orbits, we have generated PSS for one value of C at a time with mu varying from 
point zero one to point five, as shown in the, the, the different figures. Sir, the uh, orbit, one more query I have. Then yeah. how did you predict the that orbit is periodic on the basis of Poincaré surface of section? Uh, no, periodic orbit. Period, the, uh, see that point is found in a see Poincaré surface of section only gives you the point where the periodic orbit. If you right. get a point, you know around that you have got some uh, quasi periodic or some uh, more of this thing. Then the yes. point uh, takes a uh, orbit. So they were there. No, no. Suppose uh, you integrated the given uh, uh, initial condition with the help of differential equation. Uh, uh, we you integrated and you found a orbit. Hmm. So by just looking at the orbit, we predict that this is periodic because uh, the initial uh, uh, point no, and no, no, the no, final no, point like, is colliding. Not, not like this. See, the, these these are there. For example, now let us see any you know, this thing. See, that's why I told you, you know, there are two programs which which are to be run. Uh, supposing this this one where you can see. Now yeah. you see yeah. you see any uh, somewhere here when we uh, uh, make it a little uh, when we work on it with MATLAB, you know, we can expand it and see that point and around that quasi periodic orbits, you know, that uh, uh, the, those ellipses and other things go can visit. So that the, then we get the uh, location of the point. Point is the periodic orbit. <coughs> yes, but that so makes the last, I, mean, I told you, you know, seventy. No, from such a thing, seventy-five orbits uh, uh, in sun. Uh, in one of the uh, paper, I told you know, seventy-five orbits we 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 found out. Uh, yes. There may be much, many more, but seventy-five. I lost the patience and up to seventy-five, and that seventy-five gave me a formula to to say. Around this orbit, this many thing will be there. This many thing will be there like that. So uh, the even then, you know, sometimes because we are using only a step size. Uh, uh, see, we have a uh, 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 limitation of the computer. Yes, yes, sir. Suppose yes. you have a very very uh, super fast com super uh, computer, and then you are doing an entire thing, and then making a very small step size, and then doing. Maybe you may get you know lot of. Uh, 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 clarity about those orbits. Uh, we we saw that because when the the moment you take a uh, uh, larger step size, uh, you don't see those islands. So the yes. islands uh, come only when you you take a very small step size. Yes, yes, yes. So whatever he has seen, you know, he mm -hmm. has he has got those islands there. Then only he is from there. He, from that island, he has found out the. Uh, see, for writing the research paper, everything already has drawn so many figures. For example, this this center will be one of the orbit. Yes. So even somewhere we were not seeing the center because uh, we have done limited uh, number of you know uh, uh, computations. But uh, even uh, say for example this one. Now let me show you this. Or say for example on this, if you take this point. MATLAB was very helpful. We drew all these for MATLAB. Yes. MATLAB, our students were good because my research scholar, you know, Harish was uh, uh, excellent. Earlier he has attended a couple of lectures. Now I, I think he doesn't uh, get time because he's very busy in, a, in his this thing. But uh, he has attended. So uh, those, you know, people, they, they have helped. So what has happened is, of course, these things I even when I was in VSSC, we were able to do it because Matt Lab Puja was able to do it then nicely and through them uh, once uh, uh, she did enough calculations on this and uh, later on she did a very good PhD. Uh, even then she did she published with me four papers, but none of those four papers she used in her PhD program. Entirely a different thing she did. I mean, uh, of course, little bit relevant, but not very much. And uh, because her base became very strong. Once she uh, brought out, you know, four research paper, two was in Journal of Guidance Control, where Melton, you know, Melton, who got now the Brower Award, he was the uh, ref. So what I mean to say is, uh, uh, there only you are able to see. And then one by one, we were wherever we got an idea, okay, this where these fellows are, so uh, we take this from MATLAB, this point uh, center, and then the center is fed into the orbit uh, calculation. Then if it is a periodic orbit, it will close. 
yes yes if it is not a periodic orbit it will not close after yes. one period you yes. know it will come back and it will go on if you go on time you if you give more then it will re repeat on this so you know this is a periodic orbit yes 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 thank you sir and if thank it is if it is a quasi periodic orbit it will not come back there but it will again it will move around and then it will take round 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 and so you take any other point say in the neighborhood of that point then it will no more be a periodic orbit but it will be a quasi periodic orbit yes so yes. there is the pine see pine care surface of section we have not used complete strength whatever we have understood we have used uh, and i was not working full time on these kind of things you know only my associates were working with this so and they also have limited interest when they, they once i i left that place uh, then um, afterward puja is doing something different so uh, and they have their own official work you know which they have to do so many other things they have to do similarly my research scholars who come with me they spend four months only afterward they go so uh, only prashant was there who who did you know uh, who that's why he 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 has done something uh, merging etc he has shown that also I, he has already i think some of you were there in his uh, phd uh, yes, sir. Yes, yes sir so, yeah. so that was a very you know very exhaustive uh, study he made is very difficult to repeat also uh, because uh, we, uh, he he was there you know and then calculations were available so through this many good results one can find out see if they were available these uh, fast computers were available to bruke in during his 60s i don't know how many good results he would have generated because by that time they these results came by he his interests are entirely different you know see the, the he had generated periodic orbits at that time uh, which are equally excellent you know uh, the ideas come from there but he might have generated many more periodic orbits in his uh, doctoral thesis uh, which he was right with earth moon uh, uh, orbits he has classified them in different about on l2 l3 like that uh, some so many type of thing. okay yes sir yes so they were see that the main interest was here the the, the observation of those two direct and retrograde theoretical papers are also there in this where people have uh, studied direct orbits and retrograde orbit d d smith i think he has done uh, uh, no he has also got an award this brower award uh, his paper was there in in 68 or some time those things he, there there he has studied some of these these orbits so so then he has see he has found out semi major axis eccentricities for all those things variation of bifurcated families uh, and g periodic orbits for different values of mass ratios so for different values of size eccentricity period increases with the size and eccentricity of these periodic orbits increase with increase in mu so he is showing you know from there only he is showing these orbits from uh, by he did not put a uh, that that direction but from here only the from pine care surface of section only he is showing these orbits from here also he is showing so what uh, because they were they could not come in in one page so actually we uh, so what this says is pancher surface of section uh, uh, constant c 4.2 q is equal to 1 and the periodic orbits red family g and uh, blue uh, so both are there red and blue both is uh, plotted them there that is uh, blue is family f for different uh, mass ratios the, they are for different mass ratio mu is equal to 0.01 location is also given and mu is equal to 0.1 location is given and locations are also changing you know uh, 0 0.0 0.01 to make a very small they are coming here now i have to make them full
Mm, okay, now at least I can read. Full. So you see, uh, point zero one, the location is point nine eight, and then uh, and x one, x two values both are given here. X x y that means x y coordinates are given. Point one, x y coordinates are also given. Like that, he has given the locations. So both the coordinates he has given. X one, x two. Maybe one is for the f value. One is for the g value. X one, x two is telling. One is for the f families and one is for the g families. So they, these are very clearly as mentioned here. And here semi major axis is yes, is yes, said. So the red and blue is written there. So you can see here the with the mass ratio. This is this semi major axis is increasing, and that this gap is also as you saw the the there is a. Increase there. This is increasing at a more rapid speed, right? And here there is. A, I, we were having something. Why? Why this is happening? So this is one uh, somewhere. Why this comes down and then goes up? So something was must be happening in this uh, zone. I don't know whether it was explained. Similarly, this is location of the periodic orbits. And this was the eccentricity, direct and retrograde. Similarly, uh, retrograde is red, direct is blue. Direct is blue, retrograde is red. Retrograde is G, and uh, they mean F, and that is uh, retrograde is F, and direct is G. Bruce has also uh, defined these things in his thesis. Effect of solar radiation pressures on semi-major eccentricity of the bifurcated families. Then he has taken the effect of the radiation pressure also, and that also you can see here radiation pressure normally it is decreasing. You see when this is the highest radiation pressure, so this is lower. So semi-major axis has decreased, decreasing with with the it is increasing with mass ratio, but with the radiation pressure it is decreasing. This is also semi-major axis. This is for direct orbit, and that was for the retrograde orbit. And here, in this case, semi-major axis of retrograde orbit for various mu with radiation pressure. So this table anyway gives you the entire different. Uh, it was difficult to plot, and so different values are given. You can't see there also 0.999. So radiation pressure is increasing here. These are the mu is increasing here, and these are the semi-major axis values are giving this. An eccentricity is given in the same fashion. So radiation pressure is increasing, mass value is increasing, and these are the values of the eccentricities. So these are all. One is for the direct, and one is for the previous one was for the retrograde, and this is for the direct orbit. So conclusion is the using Pinker surface of section method. We uh, I'll see the, from the end as the Jacobian constant increases, these orbits gradually move away from the smaller primary. We study the evolution of these bifurcated F family of orbits and that are around the smaller primary by increasing the value of Jacobi constant. This study shows that increase in mu increases the size of these periodic orbits for some values of Jacobi constant. These families of periodic orbits found within Uh, zero to point between zero and point one, mass ratio zero and point one have eccentricity less than point two, and those found great with greater than point one mass ratio are elliptic orbit with eccentricity greater than point two. These orbits are found in the three systems. Both Pluto Caro, Pluto Caro is the only system you know where the mass ratio is point one. So even in the L four L five are also unstable. Because uh, the mass ratio is point one, stability for that linear stability point zero three eight only. So this is a, a very peculiar system. Earth Moon point zero one two and and Sun Jupiter point zero zero. So in these tables, the, these are included. You know, these these three are included in this uh, plus some more up to point five they are taken.
solar system uh, when c is greater than 4 without considering any perturbation effect with inclusion of uh, radiation pressure the deviations in the parameter semi major ray accent the time period of these orbits are also found that we have shown so a lot of references he has generated he collected he was, he was writing a good paper collecting a lot of references so 31 31 references are collected so uh, what we will do is we will we will close the thing here the next one we will uh, next time we will take up interior resonance periodic orbits in photogravitation restricted three body problem this also nishant worked on this and from there only we had taken further this study for prashant to carry out his his work so now i think we will formally because already 1250 we'll formally now we can you can ask some questions if, uh, so if i know i tell you